Are you the type of person who's late for absolutely everything? <laughs> like a certain someone sitting not a million miles away from me. That's why she was nice. Yeah, yeah that's why yeah. it was nice to start with. Well, I think we should start docking your wages if you're late anymore, Janet. That's oh. what I think. And that's what the that's what the owner of sports directors admitted to doing if his staff don't show up on time. If they're late by one minute, they're docked 15 minutes pay. Vicky. This actually has happened to me. Mm -hmm. I used to work in a call centre, which I was <coughs> rubbish at, I just want to point out. Um, but they said, if you're one minute late, we will, we will find you 15 minutes pay. Mm -hmm. Exactly the same as my Ashley. And I could never get in on time. I was never one minute late, you know what I mean? I was always three or four. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to be 14 minutes late. I'm going to make the most out of it. Same money. If I'm not going to get paid for 15 minutes, I'm going to be sure I'm, like, 14 minutes late. <laughs> I've got my own back. That's can how they, I did can it. Can I just say, why were you not two minutes early, then? Oh, it was just beyond my capabilities to be early. <laughs> People are genetically programmed to be late all the time. <laughs> I think it's, it's something that I've been really guilty of, I admit it. And, in fact, I've got one close friend who kept a list of every time in the last five years I'd been late for dinner with him. And one night he couldn't take it anymore and he just read it all out. Oh. I sat there. <laughs> he went through late going to the theatre, late in a restaurant, late meeting for a drink, late coming right around my house to go out. And he read out the whole list and I sat there and I had to choose. I could have started arguing. Mm. I had to accept it. Yeah, and I said, you're completely you. right. And I felt really, really bad. And I apologised. And it and, did. And what did you do though? Did you then turn up early? No, I can't be early. <laughs> Too far, but what I will say about this docking of pay for 15, um, 15 minutes pay for one minute late, where I, I, I do understand that bosses want the most out of workers, but if you deduct 15 minutes pay for one minute's uh, yeah, lateness, what happens to the mentality of the worker? Do you not then go in and to do your job and think, I'm going to get my own back on you? Yeah. For well, one yeah, but it's not atmosphere. a productive yeah. atmosphere. No, yeah. but then at the same time, you see, my mentality would be, I don't want to lose 15 minutes of pay, so I'm going to get there five minutes early. Why can't they think that way? Why, why are you feeling yes, sorry for them the I other way? I don't understand. Why because can't I can't think bear that way? lateness. Both I've got a real problem. <laughs> I've got a real... always on yeah. time. I've got, early, I'm always an hour early. early. I've, I've got a real problem with lateness I, I do find it rude and I find it unprofessional and um, <laughs> and I am a bit I do honestly I, but I to the point where it's a bit of a pro I get stressed by it like you know well, if we have late to makes you stressed well yeah I hate yeah. it I absolutely I've done, I hate have it. worked on it I'm only five minutes late now and I used to be 15 minutes late <laughs> Half an hour late, actually, actually, you have I'm got work, better I have got yeah, I've got no, better. she Two has. compliments in one. I, 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 have to, I, I have to be early. I have to be. I'm just like you, but I have to be like two hours early. Only because you're open for a casting call. Well, that's every, true. Every, <laughs> so it's a it's true. true. <laughs> But the thing is, then I get embarrassed because I'm too early and have to pretend that I wasn't coming there, I was going somewhere else. So then I go somewhere else to look as though I'm not there at all and I go somewhere else and I come back and, and I'm at... Yes. <laughs> because then I go, oh, no, no, I didn't mean... Because I feel so embarrassed that I get there so early. But trains and planes and all, I have to be at least two hours early. Uh, um, can I put my hand out? I've traced why I'm late back to a childhood <laughs> terrible oh, thing we that go. happened. Like a childhood trauma. Oh, go on, then. When I was 14, I was meeting, meeting a boy on my one of my first and only dates at Hammersmith Underground Station. Now, people watching this programme, not in London, may not know. It's got five or six exits, and it's in the middle of a one-way system. There's someone here saying, yes, Janet. So, I met... I waited, I got there on time, and I waited for this boy at one exit, and he didn't show up. Oh. I went round every ruddy exit oh. at Hammersmith Underground Station for half an oh. hour. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was stood up, basically, but ever since then, that's been my excuse for Well, being get over it. Yeah, we'll get You're 14. <laughs> You're 14, then. The nurse yeah, has exactly. gone out the window, yeah? <laughs> oh, right. 